Hey fellow YouTubers, this is N0 AGI. It's Saturday morning. It's uh, mid-October. Uh, today is supposed to be an, a relatively warmer day. I think we, we're expecting about 53 or so today. Some clear skies. So I thought I'd do a short video here. Um, on some mods I made uh, to my Harley Softail Slim S 2016 model just as a follow-up from my previous videos so I thought I'd do a very short walkthrough of these mods um, that have uh, been added to this bike in the last uh, I would say close to four weeks now uh, to start off, I think the, the LED headlamp and the turn signals were added. And uh, I've ridden the bike in the, in the nighttime a couple of times and uh, these lights really light up your, your pathway uh, very nicely. Um, and I feel like it's a good, um, good value add to the bike. Um, it, both for the looks, as you can tell, but also for practical use. I think these lights are have been a huge help. And um, let's walk around here quick. Um, and as I do that, I'll also I also did some detail work on this. Um, well, not me, but I had the the, the workshop do it for me. Um, there were some hairline scratches on the uh, the tank area that uh, this guy was able to take care of. Um, so reasonably um, better compared to where it was before. Well, with that said, uh, let's do a quick walk around first and I'll then go into specific mods. Okay, I think the, the next big one uh, on the list is this uh, the Vance and Heinz short shot staggered pipes that were added. Um, they sound really well. Um, I used to have these on my Harley 48 2020 
made a huge difference and I truly believe these are a fantastic add uh, to the bike you know enhances the look and feel of the bike um, as compared to the the stock pipes that were on it before so I feel like that's a good addition uh, the second thing I would call or the third thing I would call out is the the heated grips by Harley and these were added um, just recently actually um, and uh, I've tested these at least uh, a dozen times and they work really well you basically turn on that knob uh, let's see if I can yeah if I can turn on that if I turn on that knob and then set to whatever level it warms up really well gradually it's not a an abrupt heat up process it's uh, it's a gradual heat up uh, so really good experience especially here in the Minnesota fall season if you're riding in the fall season uh, these really uh, help a lot uh, the Slim S comes with uh, cruise control. That's not a, a mod per se, but just wanted to call that out. Um, I did add the flush mount uh, gas tank caps. Here's a gas tank cap here, and on this side, the electronic gauge. And um, it works really well and looks really good too for the all blacked out look and feel and let's see um, the detail work was really good I think uh, the guy really went through the bike with a fine tooth comb um, and kind of cleaned up a lot of a uh, lot of the scratches and you know hairline scratches there weren't any major scratches on the bike at all they were all you know a few hairline scratches here and there and I believe he took care of them and uh, buffed it up really well um, then the other minor mod I did uh, was to r remove the the heel uh, shifter um, that was bothering me um, so I got rid of that and left the, of course, left the toe shifter. I'm looking at changing these to blacked out kit. Uh, I'll probably do that uh, next season for now. Um, these work really well. And um, the other mod I did was this adding the swing arm side bag it's uh, super helpful I already have uh, used it a couple of times um, I have a, a foldable uh, waterproof backpack sort of a thing in there um, I have a, a brake uh, disc lock in there by Abus um, I think the model was Abus uh, 8008. That works really well. So I have those in this bag here. High quality bag by Harley, all leather, and uh, looks really good. It doesn't look too obnoxious, or you know, it doesn't look too big. It doesn't kind of mar the the look and feel of. Uh, the bike itself so I feel like that's a good ad so overall um, those are the uh, mods I made to the bike the one big um, addition or a couple of additions I'm trying to make is uh, remove the uh, the dual seat and uh, I'm waiting on the Mustang solo seat so that should be there in the next uh, couple of weeks here and I'm trying to replace 
this gauge with a I forget what the model number is it's got a larger digital display um, and it's got a an analog RPM here and the uh, speedometer the speedometer and the bigger dial the tachometer on the smaller dial and then the larger digital display so I'm waiting on that uh, by the way that's the rock form phone bracket it works really well and then finally I'm looking at uh, moving the the license plate back to the side mount the previous owner moved from the side mount over to here the, he also moved the the rear uh, turn signal lighting kit to the to where it is right now uh, these lights are supposed to be up here out of factory so I'm gonna move them back I, I placed an order for the the side mount kit that should be here in the next couple of weeks so really that's that's the the additional mod I'm looking at making but outside of that um, oh there's one other minor edit which is uh, I just recently uh, removed passenger pegs they were really big and kind of obstructing the view of the the Vance and Hines so I so I got rid of those the rear uh, passenger pegs um, and I need to cap that with a whatever the plastic cap or whatever they come with so that's the other mod really not not major but minor but overall those would be the the mods on the bike thus far so let me do a quick start on the on the Vance and Heinz here you have seen my previous videos I hope with the stock pipes let me turn on the um, okay let's go guys that's it really I didn't want to run it for too long I don't want to piss off the neighbors they've already been uh, quite patient with my bike here very good I hope uh, this was useful helpful uh, thanks again for watching and uh, God bless and uh, we'll talk soon